I can't hide my excitement. I finally have been given an allotment plot. I've been waiting for years for it. I'm now going to see what they've given me. This is my plot. Many people are in exactly the same position. Some are worse than this. They'd be covered in old cardboard, carpet, you name it, and the person's given up. We're going to start with this new plot. The first thing to remember is don't try and do the whole lot. Um, it'll break your back, it'll break your heart, and you'll have little reward. So take an area. Cut all down the grass and the other bits and pieces and then with a good solution of glyphosate, cover the whole area. Really, really pour it on there, obviously using all the protective equipment you need and also not on a windy day. Then black polythene, the area that you've decided to work on and that will reduce any air and light getting into the plot. The rest of it, I would suggest, likewise, you just cut it all down. The less weed that can get into the bit you're going to work on, the better. Start with a small area, and when you start thinking about crops, thinking of easy crops, French beans, spinach, lettuce, radish, all right, they may not be mouth-watering, but at least you'll have something in return for the hard work you've put in. As you progress along the site, you can take another bit and then another bit. Wish me luck. Unfortunately, not everybody carries out the sort of husbandry that you're going to do. And therefore, something like this, the nettles, the fat end, the seed on that will blow right over to your plot. Now the thing about it is, um, with their permission, or even without it, I would be cutting these down because once that seed goes, it will spread everywhere. However, to ensure that your ground doesn't get infested with it, I've got a suggestion. The idea that I'm coming up with is to use a porous material to cover all the soil you prepared. This is important because it will allow the air to get through the, uh, the membrane that you're covering up. You obviously can buy it at any good garden centre and it comes with the spikes. Two foot strips um, is ideal, but to be doubly sure I would use some heavier material just to hold it down. Uh, a bit of rock, uh, uh, planks, whatever it is, and that will ensure that this stays cut over the ground you prepared and won't allow all the weed seed that's around to settle on your plot. Lay the complete strip out over the area you want to cover. Use the uh, stakes they provide to put them into the ground. However, I suggest that something like that spread across it will stop it from flying up in a heavy wind. If your allotment is on a very sandy soil, it's essential that you add as much back into the soil to provide nitrogen, which will give you good crops the next year. One of the best ways to do is to use a green manure. You can purchase this in any good garden centre. Preferably go for an autumn-winter mix, and it will contain, uh, contain a variety of ingredients which will help to uh, benefit the soil. Select an area that you want to use with the green manure. Do remember that not too much of the ground is taken up with green manure because next spring, when you dig it all in, it's a busy time of the year. So just concentrate on a certain area rather than the whole plot. So having dug it over, then I would lightly firm it down. You can either use the back of a rake to just press down the lumps so you've got a very even tilt to deal with when it comes to it. The more even it is, the better germination you'll get. If it's all over the place, pockets of seeds drop down further than others. So having them prepared, it, you broadcast the seed. You don't have to put it in rows, and all you'll do is take the top of the packet off, put a certain amount in your hand like that, and then just spread it over the entire area. Having done all of that, then you want to lightly rake it over. 
we don't want to encourage extra feed for the birds during the winter. So having spread it all over, just lightly rake over the ground so that it's ready to grow. Now this is fast growing. Next spring, about four or five weeks before you actually start to use the plot, chop down the, uh, the growth on the top, leave it there, and then dig it in as you would normally if you're putting in farmyard manure or something like that. That needs to be done about four or five weeks before you actually start using the plot. Equally, as you dig it in, chop it up as well. All of that is going to ensure bigger and better crops for next year. Another very good compost that you can also put on the ground are leaves. It's a pain, it's a bore, but they've got to be swept off the lawn. What I suggest you do is, first of all, with the raised blade on a rotary mower, just skim over the top of them. That will shred them up nicely. Having gathered them all up, put them in black polythene bags, slit the bags and then store them behind your polytunnel or a shed down at the allotment. Within six to eight months you will have an absolutely perfect compost to use on the soil. So though you may think it's a waste of time raking them up, it can have a tremendous benefit as well. Once you've picked the last of the runner beans, the next thing you need to do is to remove most of the foliage on the actual bean. Um, obviously the canes, clean them down and store them for the winter. If you've used any support wire, the same thing as well. Personally, I don't actually compost this. There's bound to be some pests and diseases in there and it's only giving you more trouble by putting on the compost heap. I'd shred it all down or cut it all up and just burn it. Um, the ash will be very useful in any case. But having cleared all the site, what you need to do is to leave about at least six inches of the root there. This can be dug into the ground. The amount of nitrogenous good that will do is extremely beneficial. Having done all of that, then you're ready to start next year for another crop. Wouldn't advise planting beans in the same place as you did this year. Crop rotation is very important. What I also like to do is to save some of the old beans. Now, obviously in this case, the Bellotti bean, there's some lovely beans in there that you can store, dry off, and then you've got them ready for next year. Same applies to the runner bean. The important thing is to make sure they're uh, dry, um, preferably start with a, a piece of kitchen towel on the, uh, the windowsill. When they're completely dried off, then put them into a, a brown paper bag, something like that. Don't use plastic. The other important thing to do is to remember to write on when you harvested them and what they were. So that all helps for you for next year. What we're going to do today is start preparing our bean trench for next year. Um, and uh, it's important that it's done at this time of the year um, rather than wait to the spring because it would give the manure a chance to settle in the ground and release a lot of the nitrogenous uh, fertilizer that beans require. Having sele selected the site that you wish to use for your bean trench, mark it out. You want to be about two foot wide right the way through. The next thing is to make sure the land all around it is clean as well. So for instance, to the left, which was a path, all that weed needs to be removed. The problem is, seed will then settle on the ground you're preparing for the trench. Also, when you actually start to uh, dig the soil out, you don't want really to be putting it on that because that will be transferred back into the trench. Having agreed the, the, the length of the trench to width of it, start from the end. Don't turn round and face the other way because you're just treading down all the soil that you're eventually going to remove. So from the far end here, going down about a spade's depth to um, get the soil out and to move it to one side. Obviously there's quite a lot of clay in here. You need to break that up as best you can. So work this system right the way through the trench to the far end. Then the next thing is to apply well-rotted 
farmyard manure or the compost that you've been making all season. Line that through the bottom of the trench. Having done all of that, give it a slight firm down and then replace the soil back on the top. Leave the cane seed to know where it is and that will be ready for next year's planting of your runner beans. Another great soil improver is to lime the ground. Now depending on what the pH is of your soil, that can be easily achieved. You could buy the machines to register what the, uh, the level is at the time before you start applying the lime. 6.5 is the optimum you want to require. Particularly on a clay soil, this will help to break the particles up. The important things to remember if you're going to lime, first of all, to wear gloves. Also, you should have some eye shields as well and maybe a mask. The most important thing is do it when the air is still, not when it's windy. Now, the different types of lime you can use, you've got uh, the calcium carbonate, which is the ordinary lime, which is a very effective and also to this dolomite lime. This is another very good one to use as well. Now having achieved or uh, selected the site you wish to use, then just gently spread the lime out over that area, keeping it nice and close to the ground so it doesn't uh, fall there, not too many particles about. Having gone right the way through the whole area with the lime, then just lightly fork it in. Don't just leave it lying on the top. This can be applied particularly now uh, when the, the, the land is vacant and ready and prepared for next year's crops. Good preparation ensures good crops. Having applied the lime to the ground, then lightly fork it in just so that it's mostly covered into the ground. This will help the lime to break down. The other very important thing to remember is not to apply lime and farmyard manure at the same time, or for that matter compost. The two will have a, 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 a contrasting effect on the soil. So it's either lime or if you're going to do manure, don't put the lime down as well. Having done the whole area, once again, that is now ready to settle in for the winter. Um, some few hard frosts, so it's going to help even more for, we hope, great crops next year.